as soon as that tax law got passed, we immediately said that money goes back to rate payers. Right, and, right. I, and I know we ran this, that information yep. saying that customers would this, receive X number of dollars yep. back on. This is the same system. thing. Yep. If there's a reduction in the taxable value of the plants, those savings accrue back to the rate payers. So it's the rest of the service territory, in fairness, we have a fiduciary responsibility to all the rate payers mm -hmm. to at least say, hey, we, you know, we're, we're talking about this. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we have to have that discussion. I was going to say, until your plan, the tax reform stuff. So, though, basically, to Mike's point, it, it, we have a cost basis, right? That cost basis is comprised of things that the MPSC essentially deems to be part of our rate structure. Anything that is within those parameters, when they are reduced, the customer sees the benefit. So, with the tax savings, for example, the 190 million they'll see this year, uh, roughly across both gas mm -hmm. and electric, same principles apply. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a matter of making sure that prices stay affordable for our customers, um, and there's a fairness factor too across the service territory. Now I understand that obviously yeah. you know you're trying to be good stewards to the customers yeah. that you serve, uh, but the mineral power plant and Fermi are collectively one of the largest employers in the county, yeah. Yeah. and decommissioning the mineral power plant would have a significant impact on the economy, and taking money out of the property taxes is ultimately going to affect. Um, some of the key essential elements to, you know, the city for of Monroe, for example's budget, you know, police and fire, that's almost half of what their budget is comprised of. And, you know, there are other factors involved in that process. So um, I know that that's part of the reason why there's so many on the negotiating side that feel they're being slighted because this was a sudden, to them, a very sudden um, meeting you know some response but at the same time they have a lot at stake because they're going to have to make significant cuts they're going to have to make significant changes to their budget so um it, it almost feels like a sleight of hand so while you're benefiting customers they also see that you're causing problems for the same customers who do live and work in the community is there is there a way to address that i know that that you know, Stephanie had told me previously that you're hoping to kind of work with them to soften that blow, so to yeah. speak. But um, how do you kind of respond to to that at the same token? Well, until until you're confident that what you're seeing is real, mm -hmm. it, it it wouldn't be prudent to come out and alarm people. And I think the time frame that we came out was probably as early, I mean, we actually thought we were way out ahead of, you know, the, the reality of what was happening in the industry. Okay. So when it became clear that this, this, is, this isn't just episodic, this isn't mm -hmm. just one plant in sure. Oregon or one plant in Ohio, this is becoming right. a trend. As soon as we got that information and as soon as we got some additional analysis from, let's say, industry experts to say, yeah, this is, this is a trend that's real. We were out immediately. We started talking, I think, in, in August. Was, yeah, yeah to say, you know, here, here's what we're seeing, guys. And in fact, here's the data that would suggest that this is something we all need to take a look at. Um, in doing that, the hope is, and I know how kind of the fiscal cycles work for municipalities. I mean, they're making decisions on things, you know, two years ago that, you know, are being paid for now. I mean, there's, there's a budget cycle. Right. And we said, okay, we we have to get out there now. We're not going to wait until this is absolute. We're gonna, I'm not going to wait until the MPSC says, as of today, this is what the value should be. Let's get out there. And and I'm sure it appeared as though certain things got, uh, let's say, pulled off the table because of a change in, in tax value in some ways. That may be a good thing. At least we we warned them. Don't you know? Know that this is out there. Let's look at it. Let's work with it, as opposed to them having gotten too far out and then finding out. So, so we really thought we were out there early enough. And you know, I so I I, I have. To